Yo, what it do? I'm Pete. It's good, y'all. It's Evan. I'm back. You know, once again, I know y'all missed me. Uh, welcome back to the first day of the trimester. Uh, and for us seniors, it's another last. The last first day of the trimester. I hope y'all enjoyed your downtime and some extra sleep and a little bit of whatever makes you happy. We also hope you found your classes, got good seats, and have a couple friends with you for the last ride of the year. Next, we're going to turn things over to Ms. Neary to give us an update on what's happening in the college and career world now that we're entering the final stretch. Okay. Hey students, it's Ms. Neary from the Career Center here. Um, lots of stuff going on this week, so hopefully you got some rest and relaxed a little bit over spring break and are ready to hit it hard. Um, seniors, third try, last try of your senior year. Here we go. A couple things in mind. Tomorrow night at Coon Rapids from 6 to 8 p.m., uh, those of you that are working on your FAFSA, if you need help with that, you can come to Coon Rapids. There will be, I will be there, multiple people will be there with students and families completing their FAFSA, and the financial aid experts from the colleges will be there helping families complete that process. So FAFSA has been a little tricky this year. If you need some help, tomorrow night from 6 to 8 at Coon Rapids High School is the place to be to get some help with that. Um, other things going on, big, big um, time here for scholarships right now, things coming up. The Wallen two-year scholarship is available. That opened on March 1st. It closes end of April. So if you're thinking of a two-year school, there are some great options with that Wallen two-year scholarship. The Page Education Scholarship is due on April 1st. Again, that's for students of color going to schools in the state of Minnesota, and that's $2,500 a year, renewable for four years, so that's a big one. We have our own in-house Diane Gronwald Memorial Arts Scholarship, so that is due on March 31st, so coming up here pretty soon, and all of that comes to me here in the Career Center. And then lastly, for all students, um, tomorrow on Wednesday, we have the Minneapolis College of Art and Design that will be here during fourth period in the main commons. So if you're interested in learning anything more about the Minneapolis College of Art and Design, stop by and see them on your lunch period. Have a great day. Appreciate the updates, Neary. There's a lot to keep track of if you're a senior, but one of them we all know is for real is graduation day. And it's coming quick, two months, y'all. So it's your chance to be a speaker at graduation day or at the honors assembly and to share your message on the biggest day of high school. To get a chance though, you need to try out um, and graduation speaker tryout signups open today. If you're interested in trying out, please sign up in the counseling office. You must sign up by this Friday. So get down there and get it done. I might have to. Something else seniors need to get done is submitting their photo and videos for sen the senior video. If you wanna be in the video, you need to get those photos and videos submitted. Remember, they can be from freshman to senior year. Mm, I didn't know that. I'm going to upload some videos tonight. Might have to. Um, tonight, the following clubs take place. Tornado Force, Knowledge Bowl, Youth and Government, Black Student Union, Step, Dance, and Speech. And tomorrow, Rock Climbing Club is happening in the Fieldhouse. And today for lunch, the cafeteria dishes out soft shell tacos, ham and cheese croissants, and chef salad. Now let's check back in with sports. Shout out one more time to the boys basketball program who ended their season over spring break. Special shout out to Trey Borchers and Peyton Padani, who were named to the Northwest Suburban Conference All-Conference team. Another competitor who added to their resume over break was senior Grace Morphew. Shout out Grace Morphew, former news kid, who was named an academic All-American by the National Speech and Debate Association. This is a prestigious honor that comes from a high level of success in competition and an even higher level of success in the classroom. Grace is the first Anoka High School student to win this title in recent history, and maybe ever. The awards keep coming in for Grace. Anoka speech team who will get their shot at state this Thursday when the speech team heads to Park Center High School. This week, the spring sports season kicks off with a bunch of tryouts and practices underway. The baseball, softball, and boys volleyball teams are all running tryouts this week. See your coach for more times and details and locations. The golf teams and track and field are also starting things off this week. Next week, the boys' tennis team starts up and the lacrosse season kicks into high gear the first week of April. That's all for sports updates. Back to you, Evan. Were your, were your arms getting tired? Yeah. Yes. I know I'm going to be at uh, track practice tonight getting some work done. What about you, Pete? Of course, of course. I'm going to throw you. know that. I'm going to see you guys at track practice tonight. Yes, sir. That's it for our first broadcast of the last trimester. We're closing out the show today with Sarah's teacher feature of Mr. Milbauer. I'm Pete. And I'm Evan. And keep it cracking, Anoka. Stay, stay spinny, tornadoes. Spinny. Uh, Whatever that means. And get used to us because we're going to be here the whole week. Of course.
Super proud of this group, and it's an amazing day yesterday, and we're going to have a great day today. I'm Mark Milbauer, and I teach the acting classes here along with English 9. So what I did before teaching, I was in New York City doing very experimental theater um, that was very controversial and fun. It was after I uh, got my MFA from Yale. Uh, one thing you do in New York is if you can't, uh, you need to make a living, so you work for lawyers and stuff. And so I met my wife on the 52nd floor of kind of a famous building, the MetLife building, Pan Am building. And I found out she was teaching at Yale, and so we got married and moved to Brooklyn. And we have a daughter, Sienna, who is in New York. As far as my favorite memories for acting class, I, I also remember the day we go out in the field and people run far away and shout, my mind is free. Uh, and then there's the famous day of the uh, Miss Universe pageant where there's so much freedom and people switch genders and all that stuff. But in, in general, it's, it's a lot of really powerful people uh, and the room is bigger. Uh, and one thing I do is I give a piece of tape at the end of the day to say, at the end of the try, saying this will stick with you forever and people are carrying their tape five years later. And the last day is pretty emotional. There's usually like seven to 12 people. There, there's a lot of tears in the room and that does not happen that much in a class. So it's been a tremendous run and I, I've told my students that this is my last year of teaching and it's been phenomenal memory making and a, a lot of powerful, powerful students that I'm very, very grateful to. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Hi, are, are you in uh, acting? You know, as a matter of fact, I am. Could you tell me some things about Milbauer? Well, I suppose so. I love Milbauer. He's, he's an excellent teacher. He's always been there for me. He, he's always encouraged my acting and my, and my artistic prowess. He's, he's just a great guy. And it's a shame to see him go. I'll say that. I, every single thing we do is just so out of the box and so fun. We get to have like basically our own free will to do whatever we want in our like creative way. And it's just so great. <laughs> They would throw out my letters just as soon as I wrote them. My own sister thinks I'm dead, Ben. Is she at least alive? I, mean... I don't even know. But Milbauer, I will never forget you, Milbauer. Thank you.